Make your partner take a couple steps. Get head position on the person, especially if you're shorter. Get this head position. Be on the outside. Bring your essence to him, right? Don't do this. Especially if you guys are non martial artists and you're not like super comfortable and you're like, okay, I'm gonna be super polite. No, we're all friends here. Nuzzle him gently. <laughs> Replace his center with your center. Play a little game. We're gonna do one more little game and then we're gonna take a break. Uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to touch Seth's shoulders, right? With my open hands, like that, right? Inside or outside, right? Either one, I don't care, right? Every time I touch him, every time I touch his shoulder, I get a point. Now the whole time he's trying to touch my shoulder. Right? Oh. Be honest, honor system about the points like we just created. Don't hurt each other. Go! Yeah, she's about to tear you up. Oh my bad. <laughs> what we're getting used to is, is shit coming at us and we're not freaking out because our partner's not supposed to hurt us. Jessica, get him. Find a new partner. <laughs> <laughs> Go to his right side, he can't use his arm. Winner stays, find a new partner, loser, you're out. Grab both hands and step in and push on them, right? And just get used to that. If you mass, if you get through that really quickly, if you get, if you can, if you feel really good about getting to here, notice my head's to the outside of this arm, right? Sometimes people get like this, this is bad. You've given him a clinch, right? We're gonna get to here, right? If you've got this pretty good, now let's start pummeling for our underhook, right? But I wanna transition from jabbing, right? You reach out, you get the hands, and then you go to the hands. Don't go. <laughs> right? Here you go. We're at this range that I don't want to be at. This is a nice little bridge. It only works if I've established that I can hurt him. Now he gives me this. Now I go to here, and then we're going to start moving him around. In boxing gloves, this still works, right? You can still unbalance somebody, even in boxing gloves, with this stuff here, right? We're going to jab, jab get him to put his guard up. If you guys, uh, if you feel a little more comfortable with contact, you can start just like kind of doing this, get him to do that, boom, here, like this. Now you're gonna get one of a couple responses. If you push on somebody, they'll push back, right? Which is not always wrong, but it's not always right either. If they push back and we're at stalemate, because I am the same size as a 15 year old girl, right? <laughs> we have equal strength. You know, nothing happens. That's cool. If we're talking self-defense, every couple seconds where we can make nothing happen, that's actually a win, right? If they are bigger, it's unrealistic that I'm gonna push T away. That's not gonna happen, right? But I can push myself away. And even if I was to suddenly like hook up and try to overpower you, this gives you an idea that it's about to happen. Good. And then when you get that underhook, go back to that position. Get that underhook, take your sweaty ass forehead, and put it right in this luscious beard, and yeah. jam that thing in there. Now this is a sparring round with Brandon. Now Brandon is bigger and stronger than me, like everybody. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna screw around a lot and see who can be the trickiest, like dirtiest, like garbage ass, trash, grabby fighter. We're gonna do shit that you might think it's kind of fucked up. We're doing it to each other, like mashing on his gloves and pushing a punch through. Uh, he's gonna try oblique kicks. I'm gonna block punches with my forehead. We're gonna do all kinds of garbage. Uh, but he almost kicked me in the face right there and pulled it back. Block a punch with my head right here. Whoop. 
That was a light one, but I get a better one later. You watch. Now here I'm going to block a couple punches with my face and try the world's worst spinning crescent kick. <laughs> Uh, we do a lot of tit for tat where we go back and forth trying the same shit on each other when we spar. Uh, he's going to make that spinning back kick work a little better here in a second. It moves really good for a big guy. And he understands all the shit I'm trying to do, which makes it fun to spar with him. Uh, he can show me elbows without really hitting me. I'm going to mash on his face a lot and cross face him. Uh, whoop, that one worked. This one doesn't. Nope. <laughs> we both like doing all this kind of bullshit to each other. This is a lot of this stuff you wouldn't do like that right there. If you don't know a guy real good, you probably shouldn't do that stuff in sparring. And he's kind of showing elbows, and I'm hanging on to him and kicking him even when I should break. Uh, I just bounced off him there. Watch the Superman jab. I, I got a, my timing on a little better, and you can follow with that kick. Now here I'm going to see how long a combo I can let him do with, without doing anything in return. Uh, I was kind of tired. Everybody's getting kind of tired at this point. I'm about to do my patented uh, disappearing act here. Uh, watch this. It sort of works, and then I forget to do anything after. Where'd I go? <laughs> there he bounces my head off the wall. Um, me and Brandon like to spar like this. We do all kinds of stuff to each other that... If, if you don't know somebody, a lot of this stuff, a lot of this goofy stuff, you shouldn't do to him. Now, again, he tried his little kicky trick, and I'm going to do the same thing back to him. Me and him and, and guys like us, we like to do that shit to each other when we spar. It'd be like... You know, anything you could do, I could do too. But Brandon's a uh, super cool guy, and I'm always glad when he comes.